Welcome, Welcome to the Chica del Pod. On this podcast, we get together every week and talk about interesting topics, anything that you guys want to discuss, and just catch up as homegirls. My name is Samantha, aka Mexican Chunli. My name is Marimar Rosales Sanchez de la Paz. And my name's Amy D. Woo! <laughs> we did it together. <laughs> We're honored to have you guys this week, and I actually brought this topic on the floor because I feel like it's something that we can all relate to, especially with the age of social media. I know we talk about social media often, but I feel like social media is just like a big theme in all of our lives, uh, most people's lives. Mm -hmm. And so we just wanted to discuss it. And the topic today is actually uh, the realistic or unrealistic standard of the trend, which is trying to achieve or being that girl. And I'm going to air quote that girl. What's because, that girl? Um, yeah, there's a lot of different... Um, ways that you can perceive that girl but when it comes to tiktok and probably like youtube as well like i know there's content creators that they curate their content around that style uh that girl is just that girl like she's the girl that wakes up early and always has um her tasks done like she gets like she has like a checklist she like records herself like pouring a matcha uh, tea into like a mason jar everything is aesthetic aesthetic she pleasing. yeah aesthetic in in a in that girl type of phase because i feel like there's different kinds of aesthetics mm -hmm. um and i think that it is very it kind of glorifies um kind of being like an like a conventionally attractive like thin white woman in a way you wear your lululemons like you take your walks like you have this clean girl like it's like a clean girl aesthetic mixed with like um a Rich wellness girl. and and i would say privileged okay i would say privileged um and just like somebody that actually has the time and energy to take care of themselves like very very thoroughly uh and i think that you know it comes with its positives and negatives because of course like it's better than glorifying like the jersey shore like snooky like getting right. messed up every day and like all that kind of stuff but then on the other hand of the coin it's like what if you're not able to do these things for yourself and financially? what does that do financially like uh, yeah economically and just like resource wise because these girls they everything is like clean and like aesthetically pleasing people have kids like there's all kinds of stuff mm. so i just wanted to open up to you guys like what do you guys think about this trend and if it's realistic or not i guess i can start so i've seen it because i be on tiktok a lot sometimes mm -hmm. <laughs> i see it and it definitely like catches my eye because it looks so clean and i be like damn i want to do that but i work a nine to five i want to do that but i wake up early and i have to i have things to do i have like i don't know stress that i'm juggling with every single day you know and i'm like damn i can't necessarily do that so it does bring me into a comparison mode sometimes mm -hmm. which is not good for me because i don't like to compare my life or what's going on with me with other people because it's also just videos and tiktoks that they're creating and everything else could potentially be a complete mess yeah. except for the things that are in the video right so that's kind of like my thought on it i find them aesthetically pleasing um pero la neta no me importa <laughs> at all like it doesn't no, affect you no I, Marimar is the type I think to be like then maybe chocolate abuelita <laughs> I'm gonna make it and like me vale I don't so care sad. about the aesthetic yeah I feel like it's pretty and it's nice but I'm just like mmm me vale like it, it's nice to see don't get me wrong um, and I was just telling you guys earlier when we brought up this topic was how for example right we see something that's trendy where it could be like oh she's wearing the what, what were they called before the grandpa shoes the, the nike the birkin oh no oh yeah the like the big dad trainers right or... the the people that say this is a the white dad cookout grill shoe yeah or whatever. yeah and now it's like super like 
getting ready for the day come with me to the gym and they have like the cute little ankle socks those grandpa shoes um so, same outfits yeah biker shorts and the big oversized hoodie and they make the, it look cute the lululemon crossbody i had to throw that in there oh <laughs> the crossbody and then you know they're like super cute going to the gym and i'm like no mames wait, yo me despierto y me. you know i could when i was going to the gym i get out i roll out of bed put on a sweater let me go comfy because yeah me vale mais. O sea, no, no te que si así me, me van a querer. Ustedes me quieren así, you know what I mean? Um, it's nice though. I love it. Like when I see you guys get ready, I love it. To me, it's very um, it's like dress up, right? So it's nice. But I don't. I've never took it like, oh my god. What I do find pleasing more like where you wish you could do that is the neutral tones because right now it's really in, right? To well, use she, a lot of browns. That's kind of that girl and that goes into the because most of the that girls be wearing neutral tones. Neutral too. tones. Mm -hmm. I just like it. Like it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Almost like watching a video of like someone um like everything matches. Oh, I get Yeah, you. like a car detailing video and you're just like so into it. So I'm just looking at it. So it does catch my attention. Oh my God, sorry guys. Um, pero it doesn't, I feel like it doesn't necessarily fuck with me. Like, I don't sit there like, oh, my God, I wish. But I do feel like that is something more privileged and it's something more people that don't work. Not always accessible, right? Right. I yeah. feel like it's not accessible. Um, but I also feel like it's people privileged. Que tienen el dinero. Mm -hmm. They don't have to work. Because if you think about it, when you work a nine to five, you get home tired and you're like, let me chill for an hour. Let me like, uh, what do you call it? Decompress. Decompress uh -huh. for an hour. Let me go. And then, oh, like, all right, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go on my walk. <laughs> you think I'm after a long as they work, I'm going to be like, let me get off of my clothes and wear something cute. And let me go to the gym. Yeah. So something that I, for example, see when I watch these things is that part of me is like, damn, I, I want to already be a full-time content creator so i can do this mm -hmm. so part of it is motivating for me because i do see mm. that you know like i am doing something to more achieve. and something to achieve but also i'm achieving things also on my nine to five where i'm you know constantly also going you know or moving up to where i'm like okay do i want this do i want this or because thankfully like i get paid well at what i, mean. I do i'm like okay with the amount of work that i actually do for what i get paid i mean it's i, I it's not a physical job Hashtag you know blessed. yes I mean, a lot of the times we see something and we want to have what other people have and mm -hmm. i think we get into that comparison mode but not everybody's living your life mm -hmm. you know but it's definitely aesthetically pleasing it's definitely something that i'm like damn i want to wake up at like 8 a.m every day and like make my matcha or my coffee even though i'd be waking up at six you know <laughs> on my when i wake up like on my own yeah. and i don't have to go to work that's my early or like my sleeping in can and we they prepare our, all their meals too so that's right. like fuck, like yeah 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 but at the same time again you know like i have also seen the trend that is um the opposite which which is basically putting these people out there and saying like really that's not your everyday life that's what you're putting out to the mm. world because that's what's giving you views and that's what's selling mm. but that's not really like what you do you know like getting up and like making the bed right away like bitch who sometimes i do but <laughs> every freaking day no no like we're not perfect you we're know what not, i mean we're human. and the fact that the camera caught you like getting up from the bed you set that shit up you put Do yourself it. right back in the bed sometimes, so you know, you know? I, I sometimes <laughs> i sometimes get secondhand embarrassment where i'm just like yo i could never yo i could literally <laughs> never be like i'm watching the view and i'm right there sitting at the beach you know they're, they're nice sometimes they're nice videos don't get me wrong but sometimes i'm just like what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I find it awkward sometimes, but other than that, yeah, I, I get what you mean a hundred percent, but I also feel like, um, it kind of ties in into being toxic where you're so pulled into, to um, toxic into social media where you're like, I want to be like that. And just like you said, they're only filming, who knows, maybe 10, 10 minutes to an hour where they edit it and they crop down to 30 seconds for it to be a TikTok and everybody loves it, which is how they get views. But I mean, if you think about it, like you said, it's a content creator thing. Mm -hmm. They see where the money's coming in. They see what people like, the views, engagement. So of course they're going to continue to do that because ain't no way, ain't no way my, my uh, meal preps are going to be the lunchroom before that I cook dinner, right. you know, if there was dinner. But if not, then let's be realistic. You go out to eat sometimes. I think yeah, uh, as, as someone that like enjoys that type of content, and I like geared towards actually like living a healthy lifestyle overall. 
I myself as a micro content creator, I am striving to when I do create content, um, talk about like a realistic that girl approach just in the sense of like because leaving it outside of like the aesthetic of it which is what i would think is like the socioeconomic side of it where you see people luxuriate not luxuriating but have like being in a nice place and they have like all everything like in their place and everything like that um just kind of something a little bit more realistic to where it's like okay i don't get to cook my breakfast lunch and dinner but I do prepare my breakfast, lunch and dinner like concept so that, you know, like let's say breakfast is at work and my lunch is at work. What is going to be my breakfast? What is my lunch? Prepare it the night before. So I'm not freaking putting it on like a cool, like square shaped plate and like plating it all nice and being able to eat it like in peace. The every circled single rice. Time. <laughs> yeah. With like the avocado toast, like not I can't necessarily do that for myself every day. But I think it's like a good option for people who actually do have full time jobs and maybe they don't uh, have the access, but they do want to be a better version of themselves. Like I think that like coming together and all of us kind of showing that different aspect of it is going to be more uh, beneficial towards everybody because then you're not sitting at home. Like, for example, on the days where you feel kind of down or sad, like. The last thing you really want to do is get up and prepare a meal sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like you you don't even have the the strength to do that. Right. Um, Like even yet last night, I wasn't feeling like 100 percent myself. I literally have been for the past three months making my lunch, making whatever and like actually, you know, been um, consistent with it. But last night I was just like, you know what? I'm not. And like I have some uh, beef that I prepared that I should have made potatoes with or I should have made broccoli. Like I always add like a green or something like that. And I just couldn't. And I was like, it's okay. Like I'm going to have this small bag of chips from the vending machine like and I, it doesn't feel right because I'm trying to be healthy. But you know what? Today, this is my best. Yeah. You know, and your best. Fine. Yeah. Your best looks different every single mm-hmm. time. I think the sickening part, the sickening it's part. Sickening. Yeah. The sickening <laughs> part about social media is that there's so much perfection out there that we want to be perfect and we want to achieve those things. But that's why I say a lot of the times our circumstances are very different. Mm -hmm. That person may have things we don't necessarily have, maybe at a different place in their mind and their, you know, life overall that you may not be in that moment. And yeah, it takes a lot sometimes to get out of bed to try to do something. But not only are you just doing your best every day, it also looks different every day. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and it you have to honor your feelings. You have to honor yourself and be able to figure out like, okay, this is cool to watch. This is great content. Like, I love that you guys do it. Get your money, get your whatever you got to get, you yeah. know, your sponsorships. Um, because obviously there's people watching it. I think more than anything, we can control what people put out there. We can try um, to control ourselves right and what we consume exactly Mm -hmm. definitely i think that's what it is i feel like it's um it's an ever in can someone correct me or say it because i can't say it's like inevitable yes i could try again (laughs) but we're gonna be here five minutes guys inevitable eso eso mero um (laughs) si es cuestión de (laughs) come coming soon Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> no, but I feel it's like almost say the word cumian. It's almost <laughs> inevitable. inevitable. <laughs> to um, it's crazy because it goes back to social media being toxic, right? Um, and it's just I'm losing my train of thought here, but it's the fact that it gets toxic, and even though we know exactly how we're saying, like, oh, that's. Obvio tienes el dinero, obvio tienes el tiempo, tienes la energía, you're not working a nine to five, you obviously have the luxury, you're living in a New York apartment, who knows, you know, you see the richness, yeah. the privilegedness, um, and even though, okay. and even though um, you know it's there, it's it gets hard because you're like, all right, you know that, and then you're like, you go back to swiping, and you're like, oh, okay, this is nice, this is nice, oh, okay, you know what I mean? Um, and again, even though we know it's fi- 
not fake, but it's like a five minute video or like that they cropped it down to a minute where you're like, oh my God, that's so pleasing. You still can't help but fantasize or be like, oh, I wish I could do that. Or, oh, that looks cool. Or let me try. And then you try and you're like, bitch, this took me a whole hour. I could never, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get my toast and like slather the avocado. I'm not gonna do nice <laughs> slices and yeah. put the little chile granos on it. Like, nah, nah, nah. Me or even then, I feel like there's obviously not much of an audience or as big of an audience for you waking up toda mugrosa, toda lagañosa, toda like, you know, like, and that's how you wake up. These bitches be waking that's up how like everybody wakes up. They be waking up like the bitches from the novelas. Bien yeah, con like you don't off, be waking like, up bitch. already with your with your <laughs> creams on and like your SPF and glowy skin. Like you know, you started thirty minutes after you that. You know, video. like your hair is all over the place. If you took off your makeup, some people don't. You know, like yeah. every day is different. You know what I was gonna say? Even these influencers, right? That we see, mm-hmm. and you could be like, I you get ready and she looks so good, and because she has her boutique and because she gets sponsored by pretty little thing and they're always dressed up yeah i love that they're sometimes honest and they'll be like yo siempre ando for longa. like mm-hmm. I'm, i literally look like this they're like us they're i mean they're human at the end of the day but you look up not look up but some people are so admiring admiring and yeah. you're like i want to be like that where i always look good da, 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 da. and then they're honest where it's like dude i look because i'm going out because it's a celebration it's a birthday yeah. it's a thanksgiving friend whatever it is i'm gonna get ready and this is like one day out of two weeks that i look like this because it's not my hair's up in a bun um chunti or whatever you know what i mean that's more realistic but just how you were saying somehow you want to keep it real and you're doing your content to being like the more realistic that girl i feel like unfortunately it's that is not as popping right because <laughs> not people as are gonna, popular. right and people are gonna be like <laughs> oh i love that you're real because i'm sure you have a crowd like oh i love that you're real and then mm-hmm. there's other people who are like all right next let me keep looking for the aesthetically pleasing to the eye you get me well because aesthetic so an aesthetic is kind of like something that visually gives you pleasure right and so there's different aesthetics right. like there's like the cottage core there's like the gothic there's like uh, all kinds especially now <laughs> with like freaking uh gen z and stuff like that there is a lot of aesthetics and there has been over the like a lot of the years or whatever yeah, so, so it's hard. it's very like if you like to follow each trend you're gonna be like spending all your money and as a content creator that doesn't get as much money as they're investing into their content it is something very hard to keep up with and it's a lot of the time one of the biggest like frustrations as a content creator where it's like if let's say you don't necessarily want to be like for example us right now we're having a conversation we're having dialogue um what we're talking about somewhat interests you know our homegirls that are right. watching and stuff but if you don't have that as the like i guess like skill or niche or whatever you're gonna go the aesthetic side and right. then you go the aesthetic <laughs> side and what do you do you shop fast fashion mm-hmm. and what do you do you create more freaking waste on earth like and all that stuff and like it's like cheap labor and stuff like that i feel guilty i actually just shopped Shein. i hadn't shopped Shein in a long time um and i i felt guilty because of like you know the ethical part of it and stuff like that but it's like me if that's wearing what, shoes. <laughs> no, but <laughs> my whole fit. But but what I'm saying is, if, if that's what facilitates you to looking and feeling good, are like how bad is it for you to just take that shortcut to a mm. to a look? You know what I mean? And you right. look great, you know. Thanks. And the, I'm I'm happy with my Office purchase. Work. Well, I haven't gotten it yet. You know, I'm like waiting and stuff. She's like, but I need I, to review it. I should be, you know. Have, I I read all the reviews and stuff because you know you have to see if like the sizing is wonky or not yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like I I do want to invest into better pieces. But if you're in a place where you can't invest into better pieces, but you're also consuming content that shows you like let's buy this like this looks so good this looks so good i slowly find myself like wanting to dress exactly like the people who i see on my timeline and that's never been me but it's like i'm it's like at the highest it's it's like at the highest point that it's been i feel like it's like a tiktok tactic you feel like you're giving in you're losing the war um yeah but I'm losing the war to an extent, but I also feel like I've always kind of like done my own thing when it comes to like fashion and stuff. Like even when we dress for like the podcast, 
most of the time i'm just like going in my closet and be like okay can i put this and this together this is this is the laundry i washed how can i style like yeah for today I like it. i'm wearing this fucking outfit i just was like okay this is clean this is clean i could wear it with a black top all right like but you know that's what Sam? i fuck with uh your fashion style you're not um you know para decir que no eres it girl or that girl pero eres bien unique i, I love it oh, every combo you. you put together i've never seen something on you where i'm like you look like that with that audio that, no no <laughs> <laughs> oh no. shit hey, we saying, laugh too loud we laugh too uh, loud I'm sorry I'm sorry lower the volume <laughs> you know what I'm saying is like you guys know that audio on TikTok that and I love it because that goes exactly with that girl like when the pandas the Nike Dunks came out everybody's like you look like every other bitch oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> and everybody records everybody so it makes you crack up so yeah. I see you Sam and I kid you not you're like a staple of that Sam Thank I don't you. see Sam and I'm like, oh, Sam looks like every other bitch. You know yeah. what I mean? You know what? I, I f- think any of us do. I feel like what happens is that I get inspired and I buy one of the pieces or like. And assemble that. And then I assemble it with what I have or like something with my. I got it. I try to do a little spin on she it. She puts the chun li in it. Yeah. I try to do a little spin on it, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, aesthetics are crazy. And like you said earlier, Amy, like you could be fucking pretending you're having like a bomb ass picnic at like the beach and shit. And then you realize like the the chip bags are empty or like right. you know like you fill the the wa- the freaking wine glass with some other shit like yeah. you just oh it's all like a freaking optical illusion mm-hmm. you guys i love i'm thinking about this right now there's this trend that was happening on tiktok where that girl right where it's like yeah. i'm on a yacht y bien sexy or you see someone's um their what the, their their time grid on instagram yeah and you could be like oh everything is dope right but i love these girls that rate their own time grid and they're like let me let me show you the picture and let me tell you what was really happening this oh time. yeah and they'll be like right here it looks like i'm having the time of my life but my boyfriend just broke up with me and i was crying and i just took seven shots and i'm like damn bitch and you look good you know and i'm like yeah check what passes las chichis out and everything and you think about it and you're like oh if you see it like on a pinterest or on tiktok and you're mm-hmm. like oh my gosh she's living her life she, right but I love those. You see, like that keeping yeah. it real. That's what I aspire to be if I were to post, but I don't post. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I love yeah. that. I think there's an audience for everything. You know, that there's sucks. definitely an audience for everything. Um, it's just because people tell me all of the time, thank you for being so vulnerable. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing that. There's some people that fuck with it. There's some people that rather not hear your personal stuff and w- rather see what you got. Like, show me your purses. Show me this. Show me that. Yeah. And it's like, there's some people that are going to judge you for one thing. There's some people that are going to judge you for another thing mm-hmm. or praise you, you know? So it just depends as you, as long as you are raw and actually sincere authentic authentic yeah with everything that you're putting out there then you don't really care how others perceive you but definitely when it comes to fashion when it comes to the trends that you see on tiktok or like it's so funny yesterday i was at target and now under the book section there's a tick a a talk book or book talk hashtag book talk basically all of the books that have gone viral on tiktok there is a section for that marketing yeah Mm, and it definitely is marketing and i'm sure that there's this book i don't i forgot what it's called if i see it i know what it is but every bitch got it and everybody read Is it, it the money one no i think it's actually one about healing which great i'm the glad you guys one? are out there reading Ooh, you know yeah. what i want to read yeah i know what you because everybody's yeah. like Is why it, you make me it, cry the, right the I, body keeps the score i no, want to no, read no, that no. one no it's another one it's i forgot about, if you guys know what i'm talking about comment down below every a lot I of people <laughs> and i see it a lot of people got it and yesterday i saw it and i'm like I'm not in the mood for that right now. All of y'all bitches cry. I don't yeah. want to cry right now. I'm already <laughs> crying every day. It's deep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh but God. anyways, you know, it's just, it's definitely marketing. It's definitely a good way to get your product out there and stuff. But yes, there are a lot of us who don't necessarily or aren't necessarily in a position to invest in a $100 coat that you don't want to wear every day. So you yeah. rather get five items for a hundred dollars that you could potentially, you know, be switching out for the week, especially if you have work clothes, if you have going out clothes, if you have whatever it is that you have in your closet. And right? you know what? That's harder because if we're at work and we got to wear professional clothes, like when can I wear my that girl shit? Like when can I wear the crop top, the Lulu? Like I can't be walking oh. up in there. They're going to be like, go home. 
and get dressed. not to and and i'm just saying this because of what you mentioned regarding Shein and like what happens Fast and fashion. factories and yeah. all of that i totally understand but there's also some of us that can't afford yeah that's what i'm saying 100 right and that i'm telling oh. the world i'm not telling you like i'm just saying not for people to come and attack you for buying something at a specific place because it's cheap or because of what's going on or because of whatever like you do what you think it's right with what you're doing everybody's judging you but little do you know everybody to do what right wherever you support whether it's nike whether it's chick-fil-a whether it's xyz Everywhere. there's something behind it yeah no mansion <laughs> i think it's the overconsumption yeah that, for sure that's probably like the biggest issue you know yeah and and because of that that's why i'm like i felt my own guilt in <laughs> in doing that but there shouldn't really be a guilt if you indulge in things with you know con medida with measure that's like basically the, <laughs> yeah, the whole yeah, life yeah. all life is about that you know so right. sure. i don't think there's anything wrong with it but yeah i don't i think hopefully anybody out there that is seeing that girl post and feels some type of way in the negative way like kind of like oh like that's not something that i could relate to that's not something that i could achieve uh i think it's important to take care of yourself and kind of take a little bit of time away from social media if you're feeling like that's kind of like adding more to your plate because i feel like we all have enough on our plate as it is but that girl when you're thinking about it as in being the best or higher version of yourself that's a positive thing to yeah. strive for that's who you want to be you know right. but it's just baby steps for sure you can't get there from one from one day to minute another. to another yeah right so what we have to i think keep in mind is that we become like the people we surround ourselves by mm -hmm. and the content we also watch yeah it's not just because you could be a loner and not hang out with anybody but if you're constantly just watching a bunch yes. of things that are getting your mind into something that you're not supposed to be in you get more depressed you get more why am i not there you get more to question yourself there's more there's more guilt and shame with everything that you're feeling or everywhere that or where you come from because you're not where these privileged people are yeah mm -hmm. and then sometimes instead of wanting to work harder to get there you put yourself down more mm -hmm. you know so it's definitely keeping in mind that whatever we consume we become and then we speak on and everything we speak on can literally be a curse in our lives on our lives oh yeah i found that out yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna use myself as an example and let's say me right i know i already said que me vale mice pero vamos a decir that i'm just like oh my god i want to have the new big tote bag and i want to have the cute puffer jacket and the yeezys and i don't have the means Right? Yeah. There are Marshalls now. <laughs> <laughs> I but go ahead Did you hear that goodwill's not even accepting them damn to your point <laughs> sorry um and let's say i'm over here all tristeza because hashtag pobreza for me to stay here <laughs> for me to sit here and be like pobreza. even yeah even to joke about it be like maldita pobreza like oh i'm too broke or if you guys were to invite Cancelado. me out literally it's like you're speaking even even if it's your truth bitch do not live in that truth you're gonna sit there and say oh i'm saving or you know what i can't because i'm saving or you know what money's coming but i don't have it in this moment amen like don't ever <laughs> yeah, even if true. it's like oh for real that you are broke and you're like not that you're broke because guess what you got a roof over your head and you're paying bills amen yeah or whatever your situation is if there's two dollars in your account you are saving because i used to be so negative and be like i can't i'm it's broke it's a lack mentality or, yeah that's a whole other video y'all <laughs> oh that would be a good one yeah but it's just like don't say you're broke even though we can't afford them quote unquote bitch find a dupe and if yeah. you can't even get the dupe because the dupe is 37 bucks because that's me girl Duh. we saving out here just be realistic i mean it is what it is that's why i feel like yeah <laughs> but it's a real thing just to don't put yourself too down you know and don't even be negative about it because if you want it you're gonna make it happen and it's changing your vocabulary also because the i am has a lot of power power mm -hmm. literally yeah, when somebody asks you how are you doing you know and you're like i'm sad you feel fucking more sad in that moment because yep. you physically said that that's how you're feeling and that's how maybe how you're feeling and people are fishing it why are you but, sad and you're like yeah i don't like, know more <laughs> things come out of it but how are you doing i'm good how are you doing i'm happy how are you doing i'm content i'm figuring it out I'm but well. god got me you know <laughs> like in. whatever it is but 
try to speak more into a positive uh, light. And a, yeah, for sure. For sure. But definitely watch what you consume. And I'm just saying, because at this point in life, exactly when you're watching this, I'm off social media. So just hey. watch <laughs> what you're consuming. <laughs> All yeah. right, you guys. Well, I thought, I mean, I really like this topic. Let us know down below if you knew about that girl aesthetic before this video, because I kind of had to explain it a little bit. But yeah, you guys, I didn't. once I explained it, though, you guys si knew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys knew Videos what I was up talking about. Like you the were visuals. About. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah. visuals came up. You okay. know who? I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, go no, ahead. go ahead. I was thinking about what's her name? Emily, the one who started the big old trend about the salmon. Oh, oh that that was yeah. that's one of the girls the salmon but, girl but everybody i'm not even kidding they didn't come for her but everybody in the um comments, comments i was gonna say in the texas everybody in the comments said like hey she's been around youtube for a bit yeah. um and she comes from a really wealthy family like she'd be using mm -hmm. some like george Foreman grill from the 2000s with 14k in the sepa but she has very expensive ramen no, yeah, 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 things like that. Well, and just I, expensive living. That's, I was listening to her. I was listening about that. That she like basically like shops like organic and farmers market. And I, I like to, I like to, to um dabble, dabble and indulge in that. But that's because I'm prioritizing it. Right mm -hmm. now, I can't eat farmers market and freaking buy a two hundred dollar pair of boots every month. You know, because I'm right. spending it on my consumption right. but she's wearing the boots she's wearing the hat she's wearing everything and she's like eating like very yeah. well you know and and the noise it's not from a from a like malicious standpoint either you know no. like it, i'm glad that people are able to live that way but it's just hopefully that's not discouraging people from striving to be the best to or attempt. like to a, to have the best lifestyle that they can i feel yeah. like that's the 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 whole gist of it is because a lot of people they don't really invest into lifestyle because right. they just want to like keep up with people or go to places when they can't necessarily do it mm -hmm. so it. it's like oh yeah like we're gonna go do this or i'm gonna have maruchan the next week and that's good that's like good i know we've all done it right but at some point you kind of reach a little bit more of a balance to where it's like those maruchan trips you take less often yeah and right. i think it comes with maturity you know yeah because so i think you. a lot of us who maybe come <laughs> from a place where we weren't raised to have a lot or in a lavish lifestyle um we as soon as we get good money we want to go ahead and spend it on the things that we weren't able to yeah. spend it on before because we've never had that mm -hmm. and so that's what <laughs> that's how we end up with maruchan parties and you know for the whole week yeah but mm -hmm. yeah it's definitely mm -hmm. i i actually love emily um i but, know and then, i no hate um, I like and then there's too. this no and i'm not saying because you the hate her. reacts to her no there's a girl <laughs> that reacts to her and she's mexican and i actually think she's from Sinaloa. And she's fucking hilarious oh, yeah. Yeah. she she a ver, Emily, a ver, no, 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 no. and i'm like i'm fucking dead like she cracks me up you know but yeah i've watched emily's videos and i'm like dude she, that's so dope like i i'm not yeah. even watching what she's wearing yo me quiero I'm poner la like, damn, i want my fridge like that damn i want to do yeah. that but i'm like well I eso te dedicas tú. that's your job nine of five that's your actual job so all power to you yeah one you day know? emily one day emily <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah i'm gonna catch like, up to you huh? i'm gonna i'm not gonna catch up i'm gonna be right there you know but <laughs> yeah i'm here I, to advocate for all you homies and honeys what's up i'm here to advocate to let you guys know be longer be what you want to be. Antes muerto que sencilla. I support it all. Wait, Así que... I was like, antes muerto que sencilla en Falonga, don't align. Hold on. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> do you. Like, get ready when you want, whenever you feel good. Because like we were saying earlier, every day is different for you. You might wake up peppy as fuck. The next day you might wake up like, do I got to go to work? Let me let me sneak in the extra five minutes. Or should I meal prep? Or should I do the tuna, the canned tuna with hot Cheetos? That used to be me. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, do it all, guys. I think it's all possible. We clean our fridge and there we go. Mi and mamonas, we're going to keep it clean. You know, sé que cuanto. And then there we go. Spending stuff. Clean my fridge. We'll clean it later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things like that. Um, But yeah, I mean, don't give in to society. Don't give in to a... Uh, the trends don't i mean if you want to go for it uh if you want to splurge go for it i'm here for it because i do it too sometimes you know that i was super like no quería gastar ni un centavo porque la maldita pobreza pero cancelado ya no estamos ahí um 
all this rant to say I support it, guys. And just remember that videos are like a quick five minute that's again cropped into 30 seconds and not everybody is filming and putting out there their best life because they're not putting in the how many times they they retook that shot if you guys really see behind the scenes of a content creator you're like que hueva. Que crazy. <laughs> yeah it takes a lot it's and a i lot. really like i hopefully one day emily shows us behind the scenes so it'd be cool <laughs> what it looks like because i would just want to see even you know for it not to be so aesthetically pleasing i'm sure she'll still make it like yeah. that but it would just be i'm just curious to like watch it. she looks like a peaceful little thing like a little dough bouncing around and i'm like bitch you know you cut somebody out that, <laughs> that, that meal did not take you, you know see ten... her gangster <laughs> yeah emily i know you got some hood in you <laughs> thank you for subscribing emily no. <laughs> No se Tag her in the comments. <laughs> she yeah, no, I love her. I I just would yeah. really like to see the other side of her. Uh, I <laughs> the <think> real, it, <laughs> real. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I eat McDonald's. Fuck it. One time she did do like a fast food. I don't. I, I don't follow her, so I don't watch. Me everything. neither. It's whenever it comes up because I feel like <laughs> yeah. once I follow, they don't come up in my stuff no more. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's this Mexican girl that comes up though that I follow on Instagram actually that she basically does the same thing mm -hmm. as Emily, but she's Mexican, and then she obviously mm -hmm. makes Mexican the recipes. Yeah, I forgot her name. She look. She sounds cool and everything. You know, well, not sounds because there's no sounds huh, to her videos. It's all the ASMR. It looks cool like what she does and stuff um and i'm really happy for her that she's been able to come up from making this video i remember reading that they're like you're just trying to be like emily like bitch emily's not the only one that cooks you don't need her work and she made it i'm emilia what's up and she fucking <laughs> made it her i think her name is actually Edith. i don't know but <laughs> but she made it you know she fucking she's <laughs> out Edith. there getting sponsorships she's out there like living her she got a new apartment like oh, good yeah. for you this is when the media you know? comes in because i'm like it. i need to find my niche and What's it's going not on? envidia but it's exactly envidia de la buena, it's we're about motivating. no hay envidia de la buena si hay no hay Yo digo. It's a term, but yeah, yeah. There you but go. I don't but think it's, it's envidia de la buena. <laughs> but um, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. I get what you Thank mean. Thank you. But but yeah, it's about finding your niche. It's really about like if aesthetic things are yours, if not speaking on videos is yours, like whatever it is for you is finding it. And there's money out there for everybody. Literally, like everybody can make it. It's just you have to put in the work. Lo que es para ti, you have to put in the work. No, I'm going this. No, I'm going to take this. Thank you. Amor. Thank you. Yeah. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Sammy, thank you for bringing this topic to yeah. us and teaching us some things. It was a fun one. <laughs> thank you guys. Until the next Las one. Las amamos. Bye. Bye.